so greetings again. Uh, made it. Uh, let's see, so what time is it now? I think it's 23. Mm, the time is... You can't see the time, but that's okay. I, uh, I've been here before, so this is a, uh, this is one of those, it's not my first rodeos, <laughs> uh, in Taipei. Taipei is a really, um, really fantastic airport. Actually, it was one of the first airports that I came to that I really was made aware of the whole, like, you know, come to a airport to buy an expensive purse and watch. I don't know. Um, but Taipei's great. Their internet's super fast. Um, incredibly clean. It's also one of the first places that I saw uh, this water dispenser, you know, like a bubbler, right? But it's just like, it's amazing, like filtered water and stuff. Oh, additionally, they have, what time is it? Do I have time? They have a, um, they have free massage chairs here. And you go down to, I can't remember exactly where you go down. You go down to like this little, um, like a convenience store kind of thing. And you go in and you ask them for a coin. And they give you this coin. And I think it lasts for like 30 minutes in these massage chairs. And they're pretty good. I mean, you know, it's an airport, right? So tons of people sat in them, but... Anyway, so my gate is all the way down the end of this hallway at C1 um, for flight BR-16 over back to Los Angeles. Um, about mm, 60 seconds after I finished that other video, walked up to the woman, uh, smiled, gave her a thumbs up, and uh, she nodded, and uh, she had one of these face masks on because she was too afraid that she might just jump over the counter and make out with me. <clears throat> because of my stern white jawline legs. Um, so anyway, I got a ticket. <laughs> and uh, if there was ever a definition of better, bittersweet for me, uh, it's now. Because there's a part of me that's like, it wouldn't be so bad to be stranded in Southeast Asia. <laughs> but to be fair, really the only reason I get to come here is because I have the job I do. I get to work at the place that I work at. And uh, I'm sober. So combine all those three things, and you get what I get from living in the US. So not going back there is silly, logically. But my passion, my heart, is definitely in Southeast Asia. And as I've mentioned before, I don't know what it is, man. I do not like big cities, but for some reason, Bangkok just does it for me. Um, and different parts of it do it for me. When I first got there, I'll be completely honest, I landed and my buddy said, hey, stay at this hotel. So I stayed at the JW Marriott right around the corner from, from Nana, if you know where that is, or if you know what occurs there. It's basically an adult playground. It was very interesting. Hello, kitty. Dude, amazing. Uh, amazing. Revolutionary. And it's funny, I come here and, you know, I see Hello Kitty like in the U.S. or I come here and I see it right and I think, God, this is like so juvenile or whatever. But then I remember that in the United States we worship a mouse. <laughs> so, what kills mice? Cats. Go figure. Um, so anyway, uh, oh, was the, oh first, the other first thing, well, the first that occurred for me uh, in Taiwan, first time I uh, had a layover through here, um, was the Hello Kitty breastfeeding station. <laughs> I thought that was funny, um, basically because I'm a food guy. Uh, free internet and brand new computers, not Dells, unfortunately, they're HPs. Sorry, Miguel. Um, oh, this was here last time, too. This is uh, it's kind of like a flower exhibit. They have like these interesting exhibits. Additionally, each gate has a theme to it. Um, so there's like, one of them's like a, a, a DJ theme, so they have like pictures of like records and headphones and stuff. Um, and then another one is like a post office theme, they have like post uh, boxes and stuff. So that's C2, I'm almost at C1. Um, and, it's, and it's weird too, because the, the theme thing that I'm talking about, it's like on this level, and then you... Um, you basically go down a set of stairs and then you're really at the gate, like where all the chairs are and where they check you in and everything. But for some reason there's this like waiting area up top where you wait until they open the door until you go in and go down. And, uh, and then there you go. So again, like I said, I think it's like about 23, 
It's like about 23.30, maybe right now. Um, on my flight, let's check it. Flight starts boarding at 23.25. So honestly, by the time I get to the gate and I go downstairs, uh, I bet, although I'm in zone five, so that's sort of towards the end. Um, oh, actually, so that's cool. So this is C1, and this is the theme I'm talking about, right? So they got like 40 years of Audio Technica headphones, so that's like pretty hip. And uh, these other just sort of interesting things with a bunch of speakers over here. So that's cool, kind of cool. Um, and then the uh, the ever popular LEDs to the beat of the music, which I don't believe actually is with the beat of the music at all. Anyway, it says it's boarding, so I shall board. You'll note that the co-chair still exists through um, still exists through uh, Fixi Airways. Anyway, so I'll turn this off. I'll check in. Hope you're living the dream. Ciao.